All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So let's get right into this video. Let's talk about why they don't leave you alone. All right, so I know if you're watching this video, you have somebody or a group of people or whoever they are, it could be really close to you. There's just somebody that's like this, especially if you're someone who's chosen, who's kind, who's empathetic, who's spiritual, who's uh, goal orientated. Like you're a person who doesn't bother people or anything. You're a person who has goals they need to reach, you have a vision and everything, and you're just minding your own business, right? You're always developing yourself, you're always getting better, you're getting stronger, smarter, and everything. And you probably have people or, or a certain person, whatever it is in your life that just doesn't leave you alone. That like, for some reason, like, they'll speak down in your name, right? They'll, they'll disrespect you, they'll undermine everything you do they'll never support anything you do they'll try to manipulate you and everything so being the smart person that you are you know that fighting this fighting these people is worthless pretty much right it's pointless like you're not gonna get anywhere fighting these people or this person whatever it is because they're deranged right and so you're like okay i'm just gonna stay away this person clearly doesn't respect me so i'm gonna i'm just gonna stay away right so boom i'm gonna close the door i'm gonna block them and the next thing you know, they still keep coming into your life. They, they try to creep, like they try to creep their way into your life. And you're probably like, this doesn't make any sense. Cause it's like, whenever you do end up chilling with this person or whoever these people are, you get disrespected, right? Like whenever you speak any form of intelligence or any, any goals that you have or anything, you're just going to get shut down. Right? So you're probably like, okay, these people are useless for me and not in a bad way, but they're useless for me. They're disrespecting me. So I'm going to mind my own business. I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm already doing good. I'm not going to waste my time with these people or this person, right? But then they keep coming back and you're like, why do you, keep, why do you keep bothering me? Right? Like you, don't you already get the hint that I don't really like you? Like, I don't like you like at all. <laughs> and then it's like, they don't understand, right? They do understand, but these people are really extremely envious, right? They're narcissistic people. They're from the devil. They're from the enemy. They're not people of God, right? They have nothing godly inside of them. And whenever, whenever you're around, they immediately get the urge to put you down, right? But they don't even know why they want to do it because it's a spiritual war. So they get the urge to put you down and try to make themselves higher than you, right? They, they want to make themselves be superior to you. And the reason these people do that is because they'll never, they'll never say it, but any envious person views you as superior, right? And no person is more superior than the other, but these are all things that people do. They view people and where they're at in life or whatever, or who they are. So this is the reason why these people don't leave you alone. So an envious person is pretty much obsessed with you and hates you. It's a love and hate thing. They really want to be you, but they can't. So whenever they, whenever they go around you, they're going to put you down, but also they're going to want to stick to you like a, a kind of like a parasite, right? They're going to stick to you like a parasite. And for, for a long time, and this is my case too, I've never known or I was oblivious to it, right? Cause I was more naive. I was oblivious to it because jealous people also lie a lot. They try to make you feel good, but then you see the opposite side of it. And then you're like, wait, hold up. So it's all like mental trickery, right? Like gaslighting. And they, they try to get in your head and like whenever you're around them, it's just draining. Like you just, you're just like, oh, this person's like, just, oh, like you, that's the only way to put it. When you're around someone who's envious or who's narcissistic, you, you just want to like, like brush your body off. You're like, oh, this person's nasty. Like something's just weird about them. Right. And you're someone who's genuinely kind. So this is the reason why you probably had plenty of envious people make their way into your life because you have empathy. So whenever they're go through something that's like bad or like they need help with something you quickly help because you're like i know how to get through it and i'll help you with it but these people are really ungrateful people and everything so they only want to take from you right they want to take 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 so you have a lot to give and you're a person who's you're a person who's big i'm not talking about just literally big or you may be big you might be tall or something but you're you're a big person right you're a person with goals you're a person with dreams you have a purpose you just have a purpose to it, right? I mean, you have a purpose to your life, right? And these people see that, so they hate you so much, but they can't stand to be away from you. And this is why it's always been so weird, because you're like, hold up, why do you want to chill with me all the time? But then you disrespect me, right? 
you don't you don't take anything I say seriously and you undermine everything. It's like, why do you want to chill then? So this is this is like this is how it goes when you're chilling with someone who's narcissistic or like narcissistic people. It doesn't make any sense. You're like, what is wrong with this person? You, you probably said that to yourself too. You're like, what is actually wrong with this person? Like, is this person all right? And no, they're not all right. They're uh, they're full of demons. They're full of hate. They're full of pride. They're full of wrath. And you see through it because once you get once you get more experience, you start to see through these things, and you're like, okay, this person's kind of a joke, right? Like, this person is just. This person's always lying. This person acts really, really smart. But like whenever I try to tell them something they don't know, they act like they already know it or something. They just act like they know everything, right? And God even calls them a disgrace, right? He says when where pride is comes disgrace, but where humility comes knowledge. So these people are filled with pride. They're filled with envy. They're filled with wrath. And they, they, don't, they don't realize what they're doing. They just know that they feel a certain type of way to you and like, for some reason, they can't keep themselves away from you. They're always trying to chill with you. It's like they're obsessed with you, but hate you. This is why it's so it's so difficult to be around these people because you never understand like how they're gonna act. They they're just always acting weird. They're just weird people. But the only thing you could do is really just cut the close that door to them because if you don't do that, you're gonna go around them. Then you're gonna get a headache again. You're gonna start. You're gonna start doubting yourself because they put seeds of doubt into your mind and they want to chill with you they want to stick to you kind of like a parasite and it's it's gonna be all bad so you gotta just just stay away from envious people stay away from narcissistic people it's just terrible and and also there's a scripture for it too that says do not give what is holy unto dogs otherwise they'll trample you into pieces and this is what it's like if you chill with a jealous person or you're around too long with an envious jealous person right Cause you give them, you give them a spirit of gentleness, love you give, you give things that are good of God to them, right? Things that are abundant, that make people grow. But the thing that they give you back is jealousy. Uh, they're going to put you down, disrespect. So it's like, it's pretty much giving something holy onto a dog. That's all it is. So whenever you talk to someone that's really envious of you and you give them good stuff, you give them the stuff that's from the spirit, you give them kindness you help them you give them stuff to grow they're just going to take it and they're going to be ungrateful and then they're going to use that against you right just like a dog will bite your hand off if you're giving the dog some meat and it just bites your whole hand off anyway right your your um your act of kindness doesn't go anywhere with these people you're just going to get your hand hand bit, bitten off right um so it's really, it's really frustrating to deal with these type of people because they only operate under manipulation, right? And they only operate on seeing weaknesses and like, they, they just, they're of the devil, right? That's what the devil does. They come to deceive, they come to steal, they come to destroy, right? They want to, they want to take from you and then destroy you. This is why they, this is why they can never stay away from you, right? Because they want to keep stealing and killing until you're destroyed, right? But because you're of God, you'll never be destroyed. You you don't get destroyed. You could go down, but you're always going to come back, right? And these people want stuff from you. They want to take from you, right? You're a person who gives because you have a lot to give. But these people need to take. They need to take, right? And if you if you allow these people to take too long, if you, if you allow yourself to get deceived, because that's all they operate in is deception because they're of the devil, right? So all they do is deceive and lie and steal and kill, destroy. If you allow them too long, you're going to start to damage your life badly, right? You're going to start to, you're going to start to kind of lose your mind. or You're going to start to lose finances or something. You're going to start to forget your goals. They're just made from the devil to take from you, right? To just put you down as low as, as low as possible. So you don't get back up, right? This is the reason why they stick onto you like a parasite. Cause that's the point they're supposed to. They're supposed to go into your life and take stuff from you and take, take, take. And this is why they want you around. And they don't want you around because of good grace. You're the only one that gives people grace, right? Because you're of God. So you give people grace. But they don't give you grace. They want to take from your good graces. They want to abuse your good graces. They want to just take from you, right? They just want to drain you completely. And this is the reason people are really obsessed with you. And this is why I've said in a lot of my old videos, like if someone's obsessed with you really fast, 
or is always wanting to be around you, or is always wanting to chill with you, or is always wanting to act a certain way and act this way really quick, this is a person to avoid, right? Because nobody acts like that that's of God. Nobody truly acts like that. You, you'll never catch someone who's of God always wishing to be around somebody, right? Always wishing to be around this person, always looking into this person's life, right? People of God are not nosy. You don't, you don't, you don't spy into people's lives and see what you could attack, right? Only people of the devil do that. And I know if you're watching this video, this resonates. I know you probably have a narcissist or a group of narcissists in your life. And like, these people are truly evil because they don't operate from God, right? They, they need God, but they're not of God. They only operate in anger and wrath and pride and envy. They, they operate in every sin possible, right? They're the complete opposite of you. So they're, they are your enemy. They see you as their enemy too, and they are your enemy. But you're not you're not a person that is willing to attack people. You're not an attacker, attacker, right? You're a defender. That's how that's how being a chosen one of God is. You're someone who who needs to defend themselves, right? Because you you're not you're not a malicious person. So you have to defend yourself against evil. And this is why God says, "My people perish because of the lack of knowledge." Because if you do not know what's going on, if you don't know what you're doing or what's being done around you, you're gonna start to perish. You're gonna you're gonna realize where your life is headed and you're gonna be like, wait, hold up, like this is not good. This is this is also why God has equipped you with a lot of discernment, right? This is why God has equipped you with the ability to read people really quickly. Like you read people like this and you can see what kind of spirit a person operates in. Do you, do you see God in their spirit or do you see the devil? Do you see evil? Do you see envy do you see just maliciousness right and these people are these envious people are damaging because they, they they only seek to destroy they want to take from you right and you're a bigger person than they are like you're you are above them because you're not better than them but you're above them if that makes sense you're not a you're not superior to them but you're above them because you don't you don't think the same way you have you have eyes to do good, right? You have eyes of kindness. You have eyes to benefit the world. You don't have eyes. You don't have eyes to steal from people or to hurt other people, right? You you never have these eyes because you also get. You have a spirit of God, and if you ever try to be this way, you're gonna get heavily convicted. You're gonna know that it's wrong. This is why you cannot do the same things as these narcissistic people do, right? And. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny though, because. Like in the past, I used to look at some old friendships and like just situations with people that try to like put me down and everything. And then I would just disappear. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to dip from this person. I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to hang out with this person. This person's a hater. Right. And then they keep trying to come back and you're like, why does this person come back? I thought they hated me. Right. Cause it, it would, it would make sense rationally. You're like, okay, they hate me. They're not going to want to be with me. Right. They're not going to want to be around me, but no, they, they hate you so much. They want to take from you. They want to make sure you, they want to make sure you don't get to where you're going because they can see that you have dreams. They can see that you're really talented, you're smart and everything. So you need to keep a strong eye out for these types of people because they come around and they're really deceptive, right? They all operate in spirits of deception. So you need to keep an eye out. But yeah, this video is getting pretty long. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I know you, a lot of you could resonate with this just as I could resonate with this. This is a big problem that happens to people who are of God, people who generally have the spirit of God, people who are anointed, people who are kind people, people who are, you know, destined for success, people who are intelligent people, just any gifted, any gifted person, you're going to have enemies, right? And if you don't pay attention to it, they could, they're, they're going to bite, right? They're going to, they're going to try to steal from you. They're going to try to kill you. They're going to try to destroy you, right? They're going to, they're going to try to do any means possible to put you down in any way that they can, right? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment. And if you're not subscribed, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, God bless you guys.